In this video, we're going to solve a couple of example questions related to graphs of inequalities in order to fully understand the concepts that are related to it and the kind of questions that you may expect in your uh, CIA exams. Okay, so here we have question number one. In this question, we're going to do two things at once. Number one, we're going to draw the straight line ourselves. And number two, we're going to shade the region that satisfies these inequalities as well. Okay, so the first thing that you should do is that every inequality sign should be replaced with an equal to sign. So here we have y is lesser than or equal to 2x. So the first thing I need to do is I need to plot this straight line, which is y equals to 2x. And in order to plot a straight line, we need uh, at least two points, but we take three just in case. Okay, so ideally the set of points taken are such that you have you take a positive value, a negative and a zero. But since uh, here we can see that uh, we have no ne space for negative values, so we're just going to take 0, 1, and 2. So I'm going to take these values, 0, 1, and 2, and I'm going to plug in in this equation, which is y equals to 2x, and I'm going to find the corresponding value of y. So if I plug in 0 in place of y, 2 times 0 is 0. If I plug in 1 in place of 2, 2 times 1 is 2. And if I plug in 2 in place of x again, so 2 times 2 is 4. So here I have the uh, three points, and I'm going to mark these three points and make a straight line out of it. So 0, 0 is 1, 1, comma 2 is another and 2 comma 4 is the third. Okay, so I'm going to join these points with a straight line and always remember to extend your line as much as you can. Oops, sorry. So, there you go. Yeah, so that's line number one. Okay, <clears throat> let's call this. In fact, let's turn this into red. Yeah, and let's call this line 1. Now let's talk about line 2 which is 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12. Okay now one thing that you got to remember is that uh, in f first you have to replace equals to inequality sign with equals to sign and what you got to do now is you got to make y the subject. So if I make y the subject so I have 4y equals to 12 minus 3x and y is equals to 12 minus 3x. And I'm going to write 4 separately with each value and I'll tell you why so that my equation looks like this. 3 minus 3 upon 4x. Okay. Now again, the procedure is the same. I'm going to take three points of x, three ideally, but if I can, uh, I can do it with two as well. Okay. So I'm going to start with zero. So if I plug in zero in place of x, so this uh, entire fraction three upon four becomes zero and three minus zero will be three. And the next value that I'm going to plug in is four. And I'll tell you why I've taken four, because if I plug in one, there's nothing wrong with that but uh, then I'll have to deal with a fraction and identifying a fraction on a graph like this can be slightly technical and you may not be able to figure out the exact point. So the benefit with four is that if I plug in four in place of x, the four in the, uh, the, four in the denominator will cancel and uh, we will have, let's find out, y equals to three minus three upon four times four. Four gets canceled out and we have y equals to three minus three, which is zero. So now I have the two points. Actually, I should have done this with a different color. So yeah, let me just do that. Let's turn this uh, green, yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the two points and they are zero, three, and four, zero. So zero, three is gonna be here somewhere, four, zero is gonna be here. And then I'm gonna join them with the help of a straight line, of course. So there you go, now we have two lines, okay? And then uh, one more to go. Okay, now the third and the final line is very simple and this is x is lesser than or equal to three. So we're gonna assume that it's x equal to three, which means that we will have a vertical line which will cut the x-axis at three. So let's just draw a vertical line cutting the x-axis at three. So there you go, yeah. Okay, now that we have our three lines in front of us, we're gonna now begin uh, the shading process. Okay, now make sure that you gotta read, make sure that you read the question carefully because sometimes the question will ask you to shade the required region. Sometimes the question will ask you to shade the unwanted region like we have here. So we're gonna shade the unwanted region. Okay, so we begin with line one, which is y is less than or equal to 2x. Actually, let me just number all the lines. So the one in blue is line three and the one in green is line two. So this is line two. Okay, so we start by line one, which is y is greater than or equal to two x. Okay, so this line is y equal to two x. Greater than means the region that is above the line. So that means the region that is above the line is our wanted region. So we will shade the region that is 
below the light why because we are supposed to shade what exactly we're supposed to shade the unwanted region okay so that's what i will do i'll highlight the region that is below the line so that by the end the region that i want remains unshaded okay so there you go next next we have 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12 okay so 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12 is this line okay now before you decide what region to shade make sure that y is positive and since y is positive we're going to see what the sign is the sign is greater than or equal to that means it is going to be above this line okay so the region wanted is above this line that means the unwanted region will be below the line and why are we shading the unwanted region because that's what's required in the question so there you go we've shaded the unwanted region okay now <clears throat> line three let's talk about line three which says x is lesser than or equal to three so here's a line where x is equal to three less than three means the region that is on the left and uh, since that's our wanted region so we will shade the unwanted region which is the region towards our right so that's exactly what i'm going to do and let's do that so there you have it we have shaded the unwanted region there you go okay so now you got to find out what is the one region where you have uh, nothing shaded and that if you can see is this region so this is my required region and according to the question i should label that region with r with the letter R, capital letter. So I'm gonna label this region with capital R. And this is how you're supposed to draw a straight line yourself and do the shading bit. Okay, so here we have question number two, which is slightly different than the one that we uh, just did. And in this, we're given the lines. Now we have to find the equation and we have to define the region that is not shaded, okay? So that's what the question says. The question is asking you to define the region that is not shaded okay before attempting a question like this it's always best to number your lines so i'm gonna number my line so here's line one here's line two you can do it in whatever order you want that doesn't matter here's line three and here's line four okay so we begin by line one so line one as you can see is a vertical line and it's cutting the x-axis at minus two so the equation of line one will be pretty simple and that is x equal to minus two sorry x equals two minus two okay now for the first uh, what we're doing first is we're figuring out all the equations and then we'll state the inequalities in the next bit okay now let's talk about line two now for line two we'll have to first find out the gradient and in order to find out the gradient i'm going to take two points and the points that i'm going to take are zero three and three zero so let's find out the gradient three minus zero zero minus three so that's going to be three upon minus three which is minus one so so far we know that the equation looks like y equals to minus x plus c and c what is c c is the y-intercept which we can eyeball and that is three so y is equals to minus x plus three so here we have the equation of line two now let's talk about line three so if we talk about line three again we'll need the gradient so in order to find out the gradient i'm going to take uh, two points and the points that i will take are uh, I'll go with this point, which is 4 comma 3, okay, and then this point, which is 0 comma 1. Now let's figure out the gradient, 3 minus 1 over <coughs> 4 minus 0. So 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4, and 1 upon 2 is our gradient. And what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept we can read from the graph, and that is 1. So y equals to half x plus 1 is going to be our equation of line 3. Now let's talk about line number four. And for line four, again, that's a pretty straightforward line. It's a horizontal line and it's cutting the y-axis at positive two. So the equation will be y equals to two. Okay, now that we have the equations, we're gonna write the inequalities one by one. Okay. So if you look at the first equation, which is x equals to minus two, and here's the line of x equals to minus two, the reason that we want is on the right side of this line. So that means the inequality that I'm going to use is greater than. Okay, now one thing that you got to remember is whenever you have a solid line, okay, you can see that here this line is solid and this line is dotted. So whenever you have a solid line, you use greater than or equal to. Basically, the idea is that you will use the greater than or perhaps lesser than depending on the, sorry, you use greater than or equal to or lesser than or equal to depending on the question. So the, the important thing to remember is that we always use 
this with an equal to as well. However, when you have a uh, dotted line, then uh, uh, we only use either greater than or lesser than, again, depending on the question. Okay, so now let's talk about line two. So here's line two, and we see, you can see that the region that's uh, unshaded or not shaded is below the line. So a line like this has, uh, a, the region below a line like this is classified as lesser than, and since this is a solid line, so it's going to be lesser than or equal to. So let's see where our equation of line two is. It's right here. So I'm going to say y is lesser than or equal to minus x plus 3. Now let's talk about line 4, line 3, sorry. Line 3 is here, and the region that's uh, not shaded is above this line. That means this is going to be greater than, and since it's a solid line, it's going to be greater than or equal to. So we're going to have y is greater than or equal to half x plus 1. Now let's talk about line four. Line four we can see is uh, a dotted line and it's a horizontal line. We already have the equation of line four and that's y equals to two. And the reason that we want is below this line. That means it's going to be less than and only less than, not less than, equal to. So y is less than two is going to be uh, the final inequality that defines the region that is not shaded. Okay, so in the third and the final question, let's see what we have. And uh, this, again, this question is slightly different because here you're given the lines and you're given the equations. What our job is, our job is to identify uh, what equation, what inequality be belongs to which line and then shade accordingly. So we start off with y is greater than or equal to zero. Now, y is greater than or equal to zero. Let's just replace this with an equals to sign. Oops, sorry, y is equals to zero. Now, y equals to zero is the equation of the x-axis. So that means this x-axis that we see here will have equation y equals to zero. Now, let's see what the inequality is. The inequality is greater than or equal to. And as always, the question is asking us to shade the unwanted region. So greater than or equal to means the region that is above this line. And since that's our wanted region, our unwanted region will be the region that is below this line. So I will shade the region below this line. There you go. Then we have x is greater than or equal to 4. So again, let's replace this with an equals to sign. x equals to 4 is going to be a vertical line, and this line will cut the x-axis at 4. So obviously, this equation belongs to this line. Now let's talk about the inequality. The inequality is greater than or equal to. So that means the right side will be the greater side. And since that's the wanted side, I will shade the unwanted side, and that is the side that's on the left. So there you go. Okay, next. 2y is lesser than or equal to x. Okay, before you can decide what equ what the equation of this line is, let's make y the subject. So we will have, first let's replace this with an equal to sign, 2y equals to x, and then if I make y the subject, so we will have y equals to half x. So this will be a line with a positive gradient, and the only line, and this is the only line with a positive gradient. And let's see what the inequality sign is. The inequality sign is less than, so that means uh, that will be the region that is below this line, the wanted region. So we will have to shade the region that is above this line since that is the unwanted region. Okay, now, 2y plus x is greater less than or equal to 12. Okay, since we just have one line left, we don't have to debate about what, uh, what the line of this equation will look like. But let's just understand this anyway. So if I make y the subject here, so 2y is going to be equal to minus x plus 12. So that means I'm looking at a line with negative gradient. And this is the only line here that has negative slope. And let's look at the inequality. It's less than or equal to. That means below the line. So that's my wanted region. So the region that I will shade will be above the line since the question has asked us to shade only the unwanted region. Okay. Now at this point, there's got to be one region that has no amount of shading or no shaded area at all. And that is this uh, quadrilateral. Is it a quadrilateral? One, two, three. Yeah, that is this quadrilateral. And I'm going to write R here because that's what the question wanted me to do. Okay, so with this, we have covered pretty much all the main concepts of uh, graphs of inequalities. If there is still anything that you would want me to cover or a question that you would want me to solve, please let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.